Okay, um, we are going to find um, the stretch of a piece of a steel wire um, using Young's modulus and treating the wire like a spring. Okay, here we go. Um, we're given, here's our situation. We have a 10 kilogram ball hanging on uh, a steel wire um, that's three millimeters wide. Um, the length of the wire is three meters originally and it wants to know how much it stretches when we add that 10 kilogram mass to it. Um, we're given uh, Young's modulus for steel which is fairly large, 2 times 10 to 11 newtons per meter squared. Um, we have uh, um, our mass and we treat the difference in length like stretch. Uh, the length is 3 meters, the diameter is 3 millimeters which is 3 times 10 to the negative third meters. And we're going to start uh, with the momentum principle uh, in the y direction uh, and in the y direction we have uh, wait since we're using, treating the wire like a spring we have the springs force counteracted by the uh, the uh, force due to gravity and um, since it's not moving um, the time becomes irrelevant to we can just say uh, that Ks equals mg, and we can use that for the force of tension. And since all we have is mass and we know gravity, we're assuming this is on Earth, um, we can go ahead and find the force for tension, which we will need in Young's modulus, and it's going to end up being 98 newtons. Um, and then we have to find the cross-sectional area of the wire, which is our pi times our diameter divided by 2 squared uh, ends up being a pretty small number 2.25 times 10 to the negative 6 meters um, Young is modulus is defined by stress which is the force of tension and divided by the cross-sectional area with two things the last two things are calculated and the stress is divided by the strain which is like the fractional uh, stretch, but it's, you know, the, the change in length divided by the length of the wire. Um, some algebra on Young's modulus will give us an equation for delta L. Um, here's the equation for delta, here's the math for delta L. Turns out to be really small number, 653 micrometers. Um, and that is what the problem originally asked, but since we have delta L and we can treat it as stretch, we can find the spring constant of a steel wire uh, by doing uh, by taking this formula that we had come up with earlier uh, due to the momentum principle, and we can find the uh, spring constant is a very large number and I was speculating if I could use that number right there the newtons per meter and you know just write just change our units or newtons and use that to find the amount of time it took for this wire to stretch that stretch that we calculated and if I'm correct which I'm not sure I've never really seen it done before I was just playing around Anyways, I think it only takes like uh, 82 microseconds for that wire, for that stretch to take place. Okay, um, anyways, so, yeah, uh, you can use Young's modulus to find um, a stretch of a wire. Uh, if you know Young's modulus for that wire and how much weight you're using to stretch that wire and the original length of that wire and also you need to know 
the width so you can calculate cross-sectional area. Alright, thanks.